welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to show you how to make some really quick and easy coffee scones. These will really get you going in the morning and they're one of my favorite breakfasts. So in a bowl, you're gonna add some brown sugar and some flour. And into this flour, you're just gonna grate one stick of cold butter. You're gonna grate this as if you were grating cheese. You wanna make sure this butter stays really cold. And the reason why I like to grate it is because you don't really have to break it into the flour. It's pretty much already mixed in once you grate it into it. This is what it looks like. It kind of resembles like a grated Monterey Jack cheese. I almost forgot to add some baking powder and salt, and you're just gonna mix this up very lightly and delicately. Just coat all of that grated butter into the flour. Who's excited for fall season? Next week is September. I'm excited to start all of my autumn recipes. Now in one of these little bowls, you're gonna mix together your wet ingredients. This is two eggs, one half cup of milk, a teaspoon of vanilla extract, and then lastly, we need our coffee. This is three tablespoons of instant coffee. You can use any kind. You can use instant espresso if you want. Mix this all together well just to dissolve all those coffee granules. Are you guys coffee addicts like me? If you guys wanna try some of the best coffee in the world, you gotta click on the link down below in the description. Now we're gonna take all this wet ingredients and just pour it right into the dry ingredients. Combine it together with your hands. The smell of this is unbelievable. The less you mix this, the better. You just don't want your warm hands to be touching that butter. I'm gonna pour this out onto a lightly floured surface, and this is just gonna be a little more easier to mix together. See how it's kind of just, it's kind of difficult to work with, but just kind of knead it. Knead it about like, let me see, one, two, three. We want to wet all that flour. Keep flipping it over and then just slide your palm down on it. This is going to ensure that you get all of those layers when the scone bakes up. All right, that was about 10 kneads. So this is what it looks like. It's just like a nice disc of dough. I'm gonna cut this out. You could cut this like into your squares or your triangles, circles. Look what I have here, a heart. You know what, this heart, it may be a little too big. I'm gonna grab a smaller one. There we go. This heart is still small, but very cute. Press your dough into a one inch thickness. Cut out your pieces, bring it right up. Don't twist your cookie cutter. See how there's like the layers of butter? <laughs> this looks kind of messy, but there's just, you can see a lot of specks of butter. This is exactly what you want. Okay, silicone line baking sheets. I'm gonna put these down about two inches apart. There we go, this made about five scones. This was kind of a big cookie cutter. You could make a lot more smaller scones if you were to cut them in triangles. I would typically do an egg wash, but since these are gonna have a coffee glaze, I'm just gonna bake them as is. These are gonna bake at 400 degrees Fahrenheit for around 15 to 20 minutes. If you made them smaller, it's gonna be about 10 minutes. You can kind of check the bottom to make sure they have a nice golden brown to them if you're not sure if they're ready. For the glaze, this is one cup of powdered sugar, two teaspoons of coffee, the instant coffee that we used, and then three tablespoons of hot water. Lastly, a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Now for the best part, taste says time. Look how cute these are. If you wanted the glaze to become more of like a crust, more thicker, you could have always added a tablespoon of corn syrup to that topping. This is what they look like. Look at all those layers, wow. That's the back. You could feel like the crispiness of the edges and then it's really soft on the inside. You know this isn't gonna be a dry scone. Ooh, look at this. Mmm. Yum. Cheers. Mmm. Oh my god. The crispiness on the edges is so good. It's like the butter and sugar caramelized slightly. These taste 
First of all, they're very unique. It's almost as if the coffee accentuated the vanilla flavor. It tastes similar. These taste similar to coffee ice cream. <laughs> 10 out of 10. Now, if you guys enjoyed this recipe, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Leave your comments down below if you try it out. And as usual, stay tuned for more quick and easy recipes. All of them always with a unique twist.